Hey guys, uh, welcome to your past life reading for Libra. This is going to be for June 2022. You can apply this to any replacement, even your nodes. So we're going to take a look at uh, take a look to see what happened in your past life and how it, current, how it currently affects you in this life. Um, and then we will see what else you guys need to know and what else you uh, what you need to learn from this. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Ooh, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, what else? Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective leave of pe people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, what else? Uh, also, quick note that these messages are not really meant to be crosswatch, flip, twisted, or reverse. Um, these are for these. Uh, this reading is for uh, Libras that are currently on the path of spiritual growth, personal growth, and healing. Uh, but if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so. Okay, so uh, let's get started with some oracle messages, and then we'll get into the tarot. What messages do we have here for Libra regarding their past life? What happens in Libra regarding their past life here for June twenty twenty two? We have High Priest or High Priestess. Okay. So, in the past life, you guys might have been a High Priest or a High Priestess. You know, in this current life, perhaps you guys are a spiritual advisor or perhaps maybe even a therapist here. This is interesting. We have Baby on the bottom of the deck. You know, I feel like... You know, I feel like your past life, you've been through, I, I feel like you, 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 you've, you were born into this world with a higher state of consciousness. And I feel like you, you were, you're meant to help people to pass this wisdom around. Okay, so, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys have learned a lot of your lessons. Okay, you know, maybe a lot, a lot of you guys perhaps have really good karma or something like that. And some of you guys might have a connection with the unicorns, okay? So I feel like, a, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys are born to already incredibly in a high conscious state. Uh, perhaps, you know, your family are very spiritual beings and, you know, regularly practices, you know, spiritual practices. And I feel like that's been passed down to you in multiple generations. So I feel like a lot of you guys had it really easy in life, you know, uh, because I feel like you guys didn't really have to struggle. But let's just see what else we have here. Oh, we have raising winds, magical release, calling intentions, stronghold. Some of you guys are really connected to the elements here. Some of you guys might practice like magic here too, uh, such as witchcraft. So I feel like you guys have some sort of connection with the elements, such as the weather here. Okay. And I feel like you guys are master manifestors here too. Some of you guys, we have closing circle, pure intention, sacred door, timing, and experience. So, you know what? I feel like a lot of you guys do a lot uh you know i feel like you guys are spiritual healers yourself here too maybe you guys you know do retreats and stuff like that because we have one card that's an uh, open circle and then you know you open circle and then you close circle you know you do the work in the open circle and then you set the intention to close it out so let's see what else you have here what else do we have here for libra regarding their past life we have Traveler, move into a new direction. She-Wolf, unleash the wild within. Some of you guys might have a connection with a Native American tribe. Some of you guys are connected to the moon. Some of you guys are connected to the wolf here. Uh, maybe the wolf is your guys' familiar or something like that. Traveler, so I feel like a lot of you guys might have been nomads. I'm getting gypsy here too. Maybe you guys 
in a past life were gypsies and practiced magic. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Libra regarding their spiritual, not their spiritual, regarding their past life here? What happened in Libra's past life and how does it affect them in this lifetime? Now, if you guys are not doing this line of work or that, you know, you guys didn't grow up in this type of environment, you know, I feel like this is something that you have interest in or that you're deeply invested in it, okay? Uh, some of you guys might be uh, nomads yourself. Some of you guys are always searching for something new. Yeah, some of you guys might be world travelers, all right? I keep getting gypsy, yeah. We have the world and the emperor here. So I feel like the knowledge that you have, the wisdom that, that you have, you're spreading it all through the world here. Yeah. I also feel like you're really connected too to everything that the planet has to offer, the universe here, Aries energy with that emperor. We have the six of swords and the ace of swords here. So there is an energy of creating some sort of serenity, some sort of calm here. Like I said, I feel like you guys have a lot of uh, like a connection with the elements, uh, maybe with the water, with, with water or air or something like that, uh, raising winds. So, you know, keep in mind that's that's air uh, with the swords. All right, let's see what else we have here. And the Ten of Wands and the Moon, Cancer Pisces energy. Yeah, it seems like you guys... You know, I feel like this is interesting because I feel like intuitively you guys are really connected to the planet or something like that. So I feel like you guys move to different places to connect to different elements and stuff like that. And I feel like you, done, you guys have done this in multiple lifetimes. There's a lot of movement here, by the way, with the three of wands. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Why is the world here? Ten of Cups, wow. The Emperor, the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the world again. I feel like you guys travel a lot, or that you guys in the past life have traveled a lot. I keep getting gypsy here. Yeah, I keep... I keep getting gypsy. I keep get, getting that you guys moved around to, you know, maybe pass down these traditions to other people. I feel like you guys were open and inclusive. You guys didn't just single one uh, group of people out or that it has to be th this type of people or like, you know, uh, Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You guys are really grounded, by the way. Yeah, I feel like you guys are really grounded. And I feel like this is like a family thing. Like, I feel like this is just not you doing this. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like you guys, you know, might come from a spiritual family. Or that in a past life, you guys came into, you know, were, were you know, had, like, were in spiritual families. Because like I said, I feel like you guys were born into this. Born into this with, like, wisdom. Because I feel like a lot of you guys have learned past lessons here. Or, you know, cleared out a lot of karma. Summon the swords in the world. In the world. Ten of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. The Moon. And the King of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy. Seems like you're out there searching for the truth. Or that's how you connect. Maybe you travel through the world. You learn through experience or something like that. You take a little bit of each part of the world you've been to and apply it to your practice or something like that. Okay? You know, I feel like you guys are protecting yourself or that you guys are protected. You know, I feel like you, you guys are, you know, channel, channeling the elements to protect you or something like that. That's really interesting. Okay? Let's see what else we have here. What else does Libra need to know regarding their past life? What they what do they have to learn from their past life here for June 2022? That's too 
money. We got the Queen of Pentacles again and the Knight of Pentacles. We got the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. We have the Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like you're so, so, so grounded, Libra. Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys currently, if you guys haven't done so yet, you know, I feel like you guys are aware of this, that you guys are overcoming a lot of insecurities and a lot of fears here. You're doing it in a slow way. You're aware that, you know, things are meant to happen when they're supposed to happen. You just have to go through the process here. Two of Wands and a Queen of Wands here. So... You know, a lot of, I, I, do, I do feel like a lot of you guys do practice magic, especially when you see that Queen of Wands. Seems like you're stuck, though, right now. Let's see. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. King of Wands. King to the Queen of Wands here. So, I, yeah, I feel like this is a family affair thing. You know, perhaps you met a partner that's on the same path as you also, or that you will meet a partner, the King of Pentacles here, and the Page of Pentacles. I mean... I feel like a lot of you guys are doing this type of work. Yeah, if you guys are not doing it, you guys may be thinking about it, okay? Uh, perhaps you're partnering up with somebody to do this with, uh, not a Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. A lot of you guys are overcoming a lot of pain and a lot of fear here, uh, you know, uh, and loss here too. Could be that a lot of your guides and your ancestors are in and around you supporting you or trying to communicate with you here too. A lot of you guys might be channeling uh, messages from people who have passed here too. Two of Wands, the Sun, Leo energy, Queen of Wands, and the Death card. Wow. You're going through a huge spiritual transformation currently, I feel. You're in the middle of it, or, or that it's a constant ongoing thing, thing going through it through multiple uh, lifetimes. Yeah, okay, so we have the world and uh, the world card here two times in the Wheel of Fortune. So, I mean, this looks really good. All right, so uh, Libra, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.